calcium is a chemical element with 20 protons. Let's take the, the example of calcium-14. That is the one that we find in nature. But we can add neutrons to this nucleus, and it still will be calcium, because what we call calcium because it has 20 protons. Each time that we add a neutron, is, it is a different isotope. It's part of the same element, has 20 protons. Calcium-41, for example, that is 20 protons, 21 neutrons, and we can continue. We go till calcium-48, that has 20 protons, 28 neutrons, and we went beyond. We went, this, in this case, till calcium-52, that has 20 protons and 32 neutrons. And that's kind of the experiment that we do at this solder. Calcium-52 is only produced with only a few hundred ions per second. So it's, and the lifetime is about five seconds. So it means that we get from the target, from the production, from the solder facility, 100 ions per second, and we have five seconds to do all our experiments. And this has been one of the highest sensitivity ever reached using fluorescent uh, optical detection. That's very challenging. So we have measured a very large charge radius increase. When we go to calcium-52, we challenge the majesty of this isotope and open many intriguing questions when we go far away from stability. And we need to find a unified theory that describes stable isotopes and nuclei far away from stability. And so far, it has not been done.